today I want to do a quick little how-to video on air hoses for your compressor. Um, I'm a homeowner, so I prefer, I think it's a good idea, first of all, to have a good commercial hose, you know, say a 50-foot hose, just in case you need to go up on a roof or, you know, you have a, a shingle nailer you want to do some work with. But for my general household purposes, I love these little lightweight, very retractable hoses. By the way, never handle a hose like this. You will cause a leak. And you can get one of those little C-clamps and just clamp it all together like that for storage. And then you always have, I don't know what these are, maybe 25 feet, plenty of hose for small projects, okay? And that's this kind of hose. And these are, these are like under 20 bucks. And they're very useful. And some are made of good, durable plastic, and some are made of crappy plastic, like this one. So I've used this one for, I've had it for years, maybe maybe three years or so. But there comes a time, even with these uh, spring crimp, I don't know, I forget what you call this spring. Even with these protectors on here, that this crimp, this crimps enough to where you it bursts a little dry rot air hole in here and let me show you what I mean and I want to show you that you don't have to throw these away and I know that these are almost disposable in terms of price but I don't like to throw anything away that's got life left in it okay you hear that mm -hmm. so I've got a hole there and and a lot of guys would, ju would just say, hey, yeah, man, I can fix that. But some people don't realize that that's, a, that's quite an easy fix because it's obviously, there, I feel it. It's coming right out of there where it should be protected by this coil, but it's not. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do for that. Let me un unplug this. And while I'm at it, I'll do both sides. What you first want to do is reverse this spring off. It's not going to pull right off. So you run it in reverse and spin it and it pops right off. You see that? And herein lies your problem from here to here. So what I'm going to do is take this over here. I nearly rigged this on my bench and this. And I'm going to just mount this on here to make this easy with a little clamp. I've got this 2 by mounted to the table and I figured this would hold it for, for this. I'm not going to cut this yet because I'm going to use this to give me some tension to make this part of the job easy. I'm going to split this to get this off of here without any fight. Just run a little, run a little cut right along the bar. This is a bar. Most of you guys know this stuff. If you know this stuff, there's no need to watch this video. Now, now that I've got it off of there, I can cut it back. I, it doesn't matter what two inches. Okay. Now you can slip a little hydraulic oil or motor oil on there and put it back on the barb. You can actually take a heat gun. This is an and or both kind of thing. Let's do that. Let me get my heat gun. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to go back a little bit, up to three inches back, and don't overheat this. Uh, try it out a couple of times as you go, because it may heat more quickly than you realize. And these heat guns are very dangerous, both to your person and, to, and they can damage equipment. Let's spray a little of this WD-40 on here to make sure we have... No issues getting this all the way on there. See how easily that slides on? Okay, now we're back in business. And then we can rotate this clockwise, and that's back on. How easy was that? A quick, easy fix, and you don't have to spend a whole $15 on a new hose until this one's worn out. You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay, right, now let's test it out. Nothing. Nice. See? How long did that take? Less than five minutes, right? Yeah. All right. Now
now for a bonus, let me show you what I was talking about, about storing these. See how flexible and storable these hoses are? Those are the main reasons I like these. You can take anything from one of these. You know, you know about these, right? Everybody has these nowadays. They didn't exist before, I don't know, 20 years ago. You can cinch that up and you've got everything in a tight little coil that you can keep with your compressor. And you can even do this. I just love these little light duty things for, for homeowners. There you go. Cool. Or another way skin this cat if it's more Another if it's way. more your speed <laughs> if it's more your speed i like these these are very cool these little flex ties mm -hmm. all right like a big bread tie yeah and we're back in business and there you go mr homeowner you thanks for watching everyone stay well <laughs>